Have you ever wondered why there are changes in your body? Does it make you feel embarrassed, scared, or ashamed? Then, this video is right for you. Let me introduce to you the concept of adolescence and puberty. But, is there a difference between adolescence and puberty? Well, yes, of course. Let's start with adolescence. Adolescence is the transitional stage from childhood to adulthood that occurs between ages 13 to 19. It is also classified as the phase of growth. Adolescence is the time period in which your body develops changes. So, if adolescence is the transitional stage, the phase of growth, and the time period in which our body develops changes, then what is puberty? Puberty is a long process that includes many physical and emotional changes. So, if adolescence is the transitional stage, phase, and time period in which your body develops changes, does that mean that the changes itself is called puberty? The answer is yes. Puberty is the actual changes that happen to our body. These changes are gradual, so that means that you will not wake up and find yourself having all these changes overnight. These rapid bodily changes occur through hormonal stimulation. Age for puberty differs from female to male, from different age group, and from different person. Females may start their puberty as early as age of 8 to 12 years old. For male, they can start at the age of 10 to 14 years old. During puberty, male and female can experience some changes like physical changes, emotional changes, and social changes. Let's talk about physical changes first. Under shape and size, both male and female experience increase in height and weight during puberty. Also during puberty, females' breast starts to develop and their hips become wider. Males' Adam's apple increase in size. Their shoulders become wider and their muscles get bigger and stronger. So these are the physical changes that male and female can experience under their shape and size. For hair growth, female starts to have hair in their armpit and in their pubic area. Male also develops hair in armpit and pubic area, but some males can also have hair in their face and chest. These are the physical changes that male and female can experience under hair growth. For changes in voice, male tends to develop deeper voice during puberty while female's voice doesn't deepen as much as male. This can cause a high-pitched sound for female during puberty and a low-pitched sound for male during puberty. So those are the physical changes that male and female can experience under changes in voice. Next is body odor. A teen's body, whether it is a male or a female, starts to excrete more sweat during puberty. When sweat combines, with bacteria, especially under the arms, it can cause body odor. Most girls and boys who are going through puberty experience problem with body odor. It's because of hormonal changes. The sweat gland is active and growing during puberty. This can cause more perspiration and oil production which result to body odor. Next is face and skin changes. Teenage skin produces more oil and experiences acne or pimples during puberty. Acne or pimples may grow on the back, chest, and neck. This problem is very common, but it should be given proper attention. Keep your skin clean so that oil and dirt will not build up and produce acne or pimples. Now that we are done with physical changes, let's go to emotional changes. During puberty, teens will begin to wonder and question things about themselves and the people around them. They will start to search for their identity, thinking of what significant things they will do in their life, just like their role models. They also begin to develop their values as they search for meaning and identity. They may also hang out more with their friends. Friends have strong influence about their feelings, the way they look, how they dress, what they do, and all other personal things. Searching for your life's meaning, 
values, and identity during puberty will make you feel uncertain, overly sensitive, and develop fears and doubts. They can also become self-conscious of their body and begin to notice the opposite sex in a different way. Well, all I can say is that during puberty, it is a roller coaster of emotions. Let's go to the last one, which is social changes. Teens seek more responsibility at home, in school, and in the community. Seeking more independence will usually influence their decisions which may affect their relationship with, their family, and even their friends. During puberty, teens learn how to be more responsible for their actions, decisions, and problems. They also know what is wrong from what is right. Adolescence is a time for change. You may enjoy the treatment like an adult, but you also need to be curious and cautious about the changes in your body. If you have doubts, fear, and anxiety about it, do not hesitate to ask your parents or your teachers for some guidance. These changes are a normal part of growth and development, so adolescents should not feel alone while experiencing them. Learning about the changes will help you prepare on what to expect and how to properly address to avoid confusion and to boost our self-esteem. That's it for this week. Stay safe, stay home, stay healthy. See you next week, everyone.